The park is called High Bridge because there is a big bridge connecting the neighborhood in the Bronx and Washington Heights. There's also this tall tower. You can't miss it from Amsterdam Avenue or the Harlem River Drive. At least all those people sitting in traffic have something to look at. What is the tower's story? For an answer to that question, head to the base of the structure. I meet some urban rangers with New York City's Parks Department. We go for a walk above uptown, way up. These rangers are based in Manhattan. Lena Rodriguez grew up looking up at the tower. So I am from the Bronx, and I grew up in the neighborhood of High Bridge. So this was something I was able to view for years, and unfortunately, I didn't know a lot of history about it. The tower is about 200 feet tall. They tell me there are about 179 steps. I lost count, but it is worth it. You get up here, and you see these views. It's just like an endless, endless view. Yeah. Over here, I'm looking at the beautiful borough of the Bronx. Uh, you could see downtown Manhattan. Over here, you have a beautiful view of the George Washington Bridge. Now it's a landmark. In the 1870s, it was a working part of the city water system. The old aqueduct brought fresh water from north of the city. The tower held a tank. Basically, when the demand um, for more water came in, the pressure system needed to be instituted, so um, the water tower was put into place. Highbridge Park is a jewel now, but it wasn't always that way. After being fenced off for years, the bridge between the boroughs reopened in 2015. The tower remained off limits. A $5 million project was approved by the mayor and city council to restore the tower and make it safe for visitors. Construction started in 2019 and finished this fall. We're going to have them pretty often since they're going to be very popular.